Hey guys, Ruben Lara here, and today we're gonna see how much of this mitt we can get painted in 15 minutes. So I got my little timer up here, found this uh, nice mitt online, and I'm gonna be using this super limited color palette. I've basically taken the color palette and made a gamut mask. And um, yeah, so just be real saturated oranges and yellows and everything else will be off limits. Okay, so let me just take a quick look at our basic colors here. We got a nice kind of rawhide, we've got some reds in the laces and a little bit of that blue. And I'm gonna fill in this um, this missing piece in the painting as well. So, okay, let's get started. I'm starting my timer now. All right, I'm gonna start off with this Impasto Dense Round Brush from Daub. I really like it because it allows me to, um, to have a couple colors in there. And uh, wow, I'm off to a bad start here. I need to get my color picker, there we go. So I'm gonna start off with kind of this yellow and I'm also gonna open up my color slider so I have access to my saturations here. I'm going to go pretty desaturated on this. Switch to uh, hue saturation value. Sorry, hue lightness saturation. All right, man, I'm behind already. Okay. And this uh, lets me set a couple different colors, a foreground and a background color, and it kind of blends those in. And I like it because it just gives me a nice painterly base. So I'm working at about 4,000 pixels here. Nice size, that will help me to print this later on. Fairly large. I'm working underneath my my sketch line work, so I'm not gonna worry about my about ruining my drawing for a little bit at least. All right, I'm dropping my sketch a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to go in with my oil paint flat brush and just start laying in some some darks here. All right, now I'm gonna look at my piece. And uh, I'm on the wrong one. Here we go. Jump up to 100% there. A little more saturated. Okay. Maybe something like that. Drop off to uh, about 80% on my my opacity there. Just trying to get these big shapes in here once first. Not super concerned about blending quite yet. I'm just gonna drop to about 60% here just so I can get a little bit of that uh, texture that I just laid down in there. So I'll be blending in the next step, but I'm just trying to get these nice uh, dark nooks and crannies in here right off the bat. All right, I should chose a complicated piece to do in 15 minutes here, but let's see how much we can get done. All right, I'm gonna take this color and desaturate it just a little bit, Come darker. Bump up to a little bit fuller screen here. There's a lot of little pieces in this in this shape. Kind of fun though. All right. I may not have much use for that gamut mask since there's not so many colors in this particular piece. It's a little bit of blue there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pull from that blue in a little bit. All right, um, there's some purples in here, so uh, this is about as saturated as this gamut mask allows me to go with these purples. So I'm gonna try to stick with that, and uh, we're basically only allowed to darken it. It just keeps us within a limited color palette. Okay, and uh, let's get some reddish colors in there for this rawhide. Lighten that, darken that, I mean. 
It's not too far from that purple. It's a little more red. Maybe a little more orange. Okay, I think our oranges can get a lot more saturated, so let's pull something like that. Still don't have to uh, do full saturation on those. It just, just lets me know the maximum saturation. All right. I'm gonna take this and just darken this whole area here. See a little bit of green in there? Uh, let's pull over to our greens. Desaturate that a little bit as well. Go down to 30% and just kind of tint that a little bit. And I kind of want to tint this a little bit in there. Okay, yeah, we've got a good amount of color in there. Grab this, come a little bit darker. All right, red. Nine minutes. No, yeah, nine minutes left. Whew. All right, so I'm going to grab my sculpt brush now and uh, come in here and just kind of start blending some of these areas to get our form. And we're going to get pretty painterly right away here. And our next step is going to be to um, reduce our or flatten our line work down to our paint layer, which I love doing. Start getting rid of that, uh, that line work. Again, I really love this sculpt brush because it doesn't really matter what color I'm on. I could be on this crazy blue up here and I'm still sculpting colors and it won't go blue until, um, until I, I bear down on it really hard. So. Of course, there's no need for it right now, but if I wanted to. All right, coming back to my flat brush. to darken some of these areas here. Come up to about 80%, about 70. All right, come back to my sculpt brush. Just looking for the big uh, light and dark forms here first, this first pass. And if I get this uh, darker color on my sculpt brush, again, I can get nice and small here and I can bear down, add some of that color and just kind of sculpt it out. I always have it accessible when I need it, if I'm on that color, bearing down hard now. Okay, now I'm going lightly and I'm sculpting out. Get some darks in there. And I'm sculpting out again with the same brush. And okay, three minutes. Three minutes down so far. I think what I want to do is um, before flattening my my art there, I'm going to go ahead and grab my impasto brush. Just kind of get a nice light color there. Grab my background. A little bit of maybe something like that. I go down to about 70%, 80%. And I'm just going to give myself a quick vignette here 90% just to keep it nice and immediate. And I'm just working on one layer. You can always come back and, and repaint. There's a place for for two layers sometimes when you really have a complex background, but I just like I like this idea of kind of eating in and out of the piece. You just get some real interesting shapes. And you have to readdress some of this stuff. 
By the way, I'm just working on an old uh, Intuos Wacom tablet, not even a Cintiq right now, so I'd like to just show how much you can do with basic tools if you practice enough. All right. That vignette there. Probably be adding a shadow at some point anyway. Maybe I shouldn't have done all that down there, but that's okay. It's helpful to get that uh, vignette color in at the right moment. It really just changes so much about, um, you know, the contrast in your piece. Kind of gets you into that zone fairly quickly. Good. Uh, I'm going to save this so don't lose it. Ah, four minutes left. All right, let's see what we can do in four minutes. All right, I'm gonna start taking these colors. I'm gonna duplicate the sketch so I have it accessible to me. I'm going to combine those, turn off the sketch, and now pop in here and let's just start putting in some, uh, some nice little highlights here. Now when, when light starts getting brighter, it does get brighter, but it also desaturates a little bit. So brighter and less saturated. These highlights. Come a little grayer down here. I sure pick something with a lot of pieces in it. It's okay, it makes me just paint the important things. I really love how mixy this uh, oil paint flat brush is. I'm using I'm using a, a cat's tongue, which is a, just a modified version of of the normal oil paint flat brush. I, it's one I made just so I can have tapered edges on that. All right. All right, we can do it. Two minutes. Let's see how much I can get done on this in two minutes. Wow, this time limit really forces me to just get the important parts in here. So I picked the local color there. Okay, I'm just attempting to come in here and drop almost like a color by number here. Because in my last minute and 30 seconds, I want to just kind of come in with my sculpt brush now. And, uh, and find these shapes. I love leather. Yeah, and I just kind of pulled that low, just uh, bared down a little bit and then added just a little more of that brightness.
40 seconds. And I'm just kind of laying in those highlights with a sculpt brush and then blending it out. All right. Thank you. Timer complete. Okay. Not bad for uh, 15 minutes. Of course, that's minus uh, the drawing time. But yeah, I guess what we can, what I really wanted to show here is, is when you have this limited uh, time, it really forces you to go in and just address the big forms, the important shapes. And as you can see, um, look how much I got done just by dropping in pretty immediate opaque color with the oil paint flat brush and the cat's tongue brush. And then I used my sculpt brush to go ahead and and just you know move the move those colors around to create some of uh, some of the forms and shapes. That's what I'm. That's my main goal at the beginning: establish planes get forms, get the right lighting, um, and then we can start going in with our details. So as I look at it, um, probably I was a little too, maybe I was gonna say I'm too aggressive with this light, but actually I wanna bring up the light in this area a little more, because we wanna see, we wanna get that whole major plane of the light, you know, big broad um, splash of light is coming across uh, this member here onto the, onto the thumb. So I wanna make sure I, I express that a little more as I as I move forward. Of course, a lot of darks to put in, um, and as I start noodling away on um, on the threads and all the little pieces of leather, it'll it'll really come together. Not bad though for 15 minutes, and I think maybe just a little more, and it's it could be just about done. We'll see how far I get on it. Hey guys, future Ruben here, and I've now finished this painting, and here's what it looks like. I've only spent a little over an hour more on this, but you can see how much we can get done once we have a solid underpainting to work with. If you want to peek over my shoulder and see that in real time, head on over to my Gumroad store where you can grab both the process video and the layered Clip Studio paint file to pick apart. And if you're interested in just purchasing this high-res piece of art for your own personal use, it's now part of Artbag 02, which also includes a bunch of other fun pieces from the last few months. Well, happy painting, keep on learning, and we'll see you on the next round.